It's a typical day here in Melbourne and the sun's disappeared and the rain has come out. But you know what? These roses still love it. And if you're a collector of roses or you just love them for their fragrance and colour, then I'm sure you've heard of the name Rankin Roses. It was established in 1990 as a family-run business and they continue to teach new and upcoming growers in this specialist field. And we're so lucky that we can continue to grow and have these amazing varieties in our own gardens. So let's go meet the mastermind behind it all. Brad Eldon Brown started as an apprentice here at Rankin's Nursery and has been a part of the journey ever since. His passion for roses really began in his late 20s and after working with them for 16 years, the opportunity of a lifetime was given to him. In 2012, Brad purchased Rankin's Nursery and is now the owner of this impressive enterprise. So Brad, you've got an amazing site here. It goes as far as the eye can see. How much land do you actually have here with all the roses growing? Uh, we have 110 acres here. Um, which is 46 uh, hectares, but we probably grow on about 50 acres. And how many roses do you actually have growing here? Uh, we have about 100,000 at any one time in the ground and then about 30 to 40,000 on pots depending on the season. So I know when we're looking for a rose we want good form, but what are some of the other key factors that we're looking for? There's three important things I look for, Bonnie, and that's the health of the rose, the flower, the colour, make sure it's a bold colour and also the fragrance in a flower is quite important. They're my three factors that I like to look at. And what about the graft? Is that important too? The graft is important, hence the reason we fly our grafter over from England every year because he's very good at what he does. And then we take it over from there and make sure it's a perfect rose going into the person's garden. The great thing about roses, Bonnie, are they are bulletproof and they love the heat. They love the hot sun and it's when they're at their best. So we had the drought in Melbourne a few years ago and our roses were just as good then as they are now. So I know you've got lots of varieties. Can we go take a look? We grow 300 odd varieties, Bonnie, and I'd love to show you some, so let's go. What about this one here, Brad? This oh, is amazing. This is as good as it gets. The rose is the name, it's <laughs> as good as it gets. And it is as good as it gets because the key to this one is, as you can see, Bonnie, the health and the vigour of the plant is incredible, but also the flower. And it starts as that reddy pink and then turns more to a darker red. So this variety here is one I've got from the breeding house in Canada, Brad Gelbert, and it's beautiful, it's lush, and it's got fragrance as well. So it's as good as it gets. And I've noticed this yellow one, is that ah, also from the same grower? No, or? different breeder. So the other breeding house that we use is the Delbards of France, and that there is Cote d'Azur. And as you can see, it's a beautiful, big yellow variety, healthy, great fragrance, super for a cut flower. Now I know this is a really hard question, but what is your favourite variety? My favourite variety changes every single week, Bonnie, but if I had to choose one, maybe two, uh, the one from House of Delbar called Sister Emmanuel, which is a beautiful pink, is, is probably my favourite. It ticks all the boxes. And close second would be our new release, also from the House of Delbar, which is called Pierce, I Love You. What are some of your top tips for gardeners at home that are growing roses? The first tip is I hear a lot that roses are hard to look after. They're, they're not. They're very easy and they give you so much joy. So my two main tips are make sure that in the summer you prune them when they're finished flowering. While you've done that, give them a good fertiliser, make sure they're well watered in and then just enjoy because they put on a show in the garden, in any garden. They're beautiful and you can have any colour you like. 